Yeah. Welcome to the first art walk I've done pretty much solo ever, Downtown Santa Ana Art Walk. I really wanted to squeeze this walk in, despite it being a peak season at work at the time that it all happened, just to see how it goes, and the turnout was not bad. I'll get into some pros and cons later, but until then, welcome to the vlog. I'm getting ready for work right now, and I'm realizing that, like, I kind of want to be able to chill tomorrow morning. I was planning on, like, going and doing my last minute shopping and all of that, but I really don't want to have to do that because I've been working all week. So I might have to go last minute art walk shopping tonight. For the most part, everything's, like, packed up. This is... I've got, like, all of my easy up things in there. The things I have to get out of the way after work today are gonna be just reset things. I figured out my list. I need to get one more chair for me so I can have two people sit at a time instead of just one. The other thing I was forgetting that I really want to make sure that I do though is my laundry. It's gonna be like I'm gonna hate it after going to work, going shopping, and then getting home and I wanna just lay down and pass out, but I know that I should just, just get it done. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I can get off a little bit early to go grab things before everything closes. So I'm done with my shift. But let me tell you, the shift wasn't... The shift was fine. But the fact that I was late because ants took over my car. Because they were in my doors. They weren't going after the crumbs in my... Like, cup holders. No. They didn't care. They were just... In my car. I hate ants. If you know me... You know why, but oh my god, they're so annoying! Anyway, I'm just gonna go to Target and call it a night because it should have everything that I need. I don't know. I know. It took all day. I know. It's nine o'clock and it's art walk day. Here we can see a very eepy kitty guarding the supplies for the event. Yes, yes, a very eepy kitty. Hey, it is 11 o'clock. I have just now brought down my table and I have like a little bag of that bag of supplies that I had that my EP kitty was guarding. And I didn't get a folding chair yesterday because the folding chairs at Target were like 25 bucks and I was like, I can get one for 10 at Ross. So we're gonna swing by Ross as well. And I might also get myself like a little sun hat just for fun, just for fun because it's gonna be sunny. Makes sense, right? Okay, let's go. I got my essentials. I got snacks, I got a sun hat, and I'm kind of glad that I did because it's hot. Walked into Ralph's, was like, do y'all do cash back? Cause I need change. I almost forgot to do that. That would have been not a huge deal because let me tell you, so many people pay with card now that the cash handling is not that big of a deal. Like I don't even have to bring that much change. I just brought like $40 set up not till 3.30. It's 11.45 right now, so. Big chillin'. I'm so glad I did my laundry last night, it's ridiculous. In the meantime, I have like so much stuff charging. I've got that backup charger, I've got my earbuds charging, I've got my iPad over there charging, Jasper's recharging, she's getting some good lay downs under the fan. I'll show you guys the hat that I got. She cute. I actually really like it. Last time I tried out a cash box for my change, when I used to do Artist Alley's, I would do a fanny pack. I highly recommend the fanny pack because I can have my change in here. 
and then like a pen or you know my phone or whatever in here and I can just have it on me the whole time we are gonna be doing that tonight Right, so I just did the math there's the goal tonight if I want to be able to make a profit I uh, spent more on new stuff than I realized that I did but at least I don't have to spend it again <laughs> I have no I honestly y'all I have no idea what I'm getting myself into with this art walk I haven't done an art walk completely on my own ever since I have a little bit of time I'm gonna get all that crap in my car now. We're gonna do it now. One thing I think a lot of vloggers for art walks and stuff and artist alleys don't quite mention is that like final 10 minutes of anxiety before you leave. Like, do I have everything? What's gonna happen when I get there? Am I gonna have to like fight for proof that I'm a vendor? Where am I gonna park? All these silly, I don't know, is that just me? But yeah, that's where we're at right now. Let's go, brother. Holy moly, it's hot. It took a while to get set up, but we're here. So we finally did it. The setup. I was going to have this out, but I might just go put it back in my car. Like for people to look through, but I don't know. I'll keep it out. We'll see what happens. There's a Scientologist walking around in my good Christian caricature booth. So far so good, except it's really loud over here. But the music be popping. I'm not mad. So the event took place from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. This only costed $40 for a space and unfortunately $20 to park rather than the usual $7 that the structure costs on any other given day. But that was made up for within my first sale. The 6 o'clock hour we didn't sell anything, it was pretty slow. 7 o'clock people started to shop and I made four sales which killed the hour super easily. And then from like 8 to 9, it was pretty on and off. I heard from some of the other vendors that this month went pretty slow. But it was still a good time. I'm home. I just got home. I did not get any footage of Teardown, but because it happened so fast. Shout out to my boyfriend because he and his dad stayed until Teardown to help me get out of there because... I learned really fast how much even lighter I need to pack if I'm gonna do these things on my own, like not have a helper, or I need to find somebody who's down to come help me. It was not bad. I think I I did not break even, but like I got close, so the gig money that I have coming my way will kind of bring the break even. And maybe a teeny tiny bit of extra money, just a teeny tiny bit. I had, I don't know, I have to do my numbers in the morning, but it was not bad. I had a good time. Jasper says good night. Huh, Jasper? She's speaking through her tail. Her tail says good night. But that's pretty much it. I left my stuff in my car. I got like the essentials that needed to come out of the car and then I'll unload everything else tomorrow. Good morning. <laughs> so out of breath. Just from bringing that up here. I gotta go get my table. I really wanted to include the following day after a pop-up in this vlog because a lot of vlogs will end at the end of like an event, but the following day I think is kind of just as important to share because some weekends are harder to reset 
than others after a pop-up, but I do try to get all of the resetting done that next morning. So on Sunday, I made sure to get myself out of bed and I cleaned up the kitchen before going to get the stuff out of my car. I brought that up to my apartment and by the time I was done tidying up, I decided to head over to church to get some breakfast and write my sales report and event reflections for myself over there in there and air conditioning. That way I didn't have to use my air conditioning. <laughs> it's always good to take a moment and reflect on what worked and what didn't and narrow down any extra items that I might not even need to bring next time. So pros and cons. Pros for this is that it was definitely not expensive to do, which is great. Like I said, it's $40 for the space. You pay to park. If you already have everything, that's it. I spent a little bit extra money on, you know, supplies and things, but after the gig money that I mentioned earlier, I did make up everything that I spent and a little bit of profit. What didn't go so well is that it was so hot. I forgot that August is literally like one of the hottest months in California and I was pretty prepared for it, but during setup, since I was by myself, I was feeling it like super bad. You could see the tan from my shirt in the videos. Um, I also felt pretty overpacked, and also my easy up one of the legs was busted. The clips that keeps the stand like from falling down. I had to borrow a screw from another vendor just so that my easy up would stay standing. So I gotta fix that for next time. And anything that was like kind of in the middle were sales, just because it was a slower month. Apparently July was super packed according to the other vendors, but in the end. We pulled through and I did make a small profit. I at the very least broke even and then made some extra money for myself. I think the next thing that would make anything easier if I were to go and do this again is to just declutter what I take and really assess what I need and what I don't need in order to simply survive the night was actually super super good today and our main pastor has been on vacation for the past like I want to say for like a month almost like we've had some guest speakers in for him and he was back today and I was like let's go and I'm feeling pretty refreshed I'm glad I went I was pretty tempted to just do my reports and like my reflections from yesterday at home and like stream into church but I've already streamed into church the past two weeks and I was like I need to just go like we're starting the next book today in our series and I need to go and I'm glad I did worship was popping we had some bangers and a good word and so now I'm gonna go back home and finish all my booking and stuff well I'm back home from church I have unwound a little bit and now is just getting everything off of my phone and into my external drive because the entire time I was at the walk my phone was screaming at me about almost being like full for storage so I'm just that that's what I'm doing with the rest of this then that's what I'm closing off the vlog with this is all just the aftermath of going to one of these things like this is what it is I got home we reset, we unload, we go to church the next morning, and then we organize all the files, and then at some point we edit this vlog. If you got to the end, thank you for watching. Thank you all for watching, and I will hopefully have another vlog out next month for Isle of Magic Marketplace, because I will be at that doing some art might do art walk the Saturday right before and just be dead, you know? Like just be a masochist for a weekend and put myself through two pop-ups. We'll see. That's the end of the vlog for now. I hope you enjoyed uh, watching my shenanigans and watching me suffer through vendor life. Remember that you are loved and you can draw a stick figure. I'll see you on the next one.